All right, gonna do a video in response to King's Tables, a little stream he did about me, this uh, stream attacking me and just picking out little things that I say wrong and just, you know, I mean, I went in the stream and tried to correct him and tried to show him that he's wrong and, and talking to these Ed Fenninger goons, goons, it's like talking to a brick wall. I mean, no, no matter what scripture you show them, they'll just, they'll just, they won't budge. It's talking to a brick wall. So, you know, I'm done trying to convince them pretty much. But this is a video in response to his stream he did about me. And it was in response to my video, I did exposing Fenninger's uh, hyper dispensationalism, this thing of Romans 10 is not written to Christians. And, and you're going to see King Table say some pretty weird heretical things. Like he literally says that um, Romans 10 is written, to, is written to Christians. It's talking about Israelites, but it's written to Christians, but it's not talking about Christian salvation and also the crazy stuff. It's like... It's ridiculous. And he says that the spirit of the Lord departed from King Saul, but was but Saul was still saved, even though the spirit of the Lord departed from him. I'm gonna show you the proof of that right now. Here's the first clip of where he says that of him saying that the spirit of the Lord, uh, when he departed from King Saul, Saul was still saved. Here's the proof on that. Watch this clip. So that's one thing. Uh, so he said, if salvation was by faith and there was eternal security in the Old Testament, why does the spirit of the Lord depart from King Saul in first? Uh, because King Saul at that time the spirit wasn't uh, isn't wasn't acting the same way as it is acting today. The spirit could be in somebody. Not everybody had the spirit like Saul did. Not every it was given to specific people. Not every single person. So it was only King Saul saved because it doesn't indicate that anybody else anybody else had the spirit in them. Only King Saul. Yeah, you heard it correctly. He literally just says that King Saul was still saved when the spirit departed from him. And I've written in my notes that uh, he says the spirit wasn't, wasn't, quote, acting the same way that it was acting today. And my response is uh, chapter and verse on that. Where does the Bible say the Holy Spirit acts a certain way back then that it does now and everything? Again, these, these uh, mental gymnastics. And then when you try to pin them on scriptures that prove a, a system of works in the Old Testament, faith plus works, they'll always say, well, that's talking about physical salvation. Again, this, this term physical salvation is a term they just made up out of thin air. I mean, Fenninger and his goons, they just made up this physical salvation out of, out of thin air to try to explain away the verses that clearly teach that there was an element of works that were involved in the Old Testament. You had to have faith, but there was an element of works. And they, they use this physical salvation argument to explain that those verses away. They do it every single time. I also have written in my notes that uh, King's Table, what he believes is that uh, you were sealed with the, you basically were sealed with the Holy Spirit back in the Old Testament, and, and you know Fenninger and his goons they say that you were sealed with the Holy Spirit back in the Old Testament, but how does that work if the Spirit can depart from somebody? You know it doesn't make any sense. They'll claim we're sealed with the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament, but then the Spirit can depart from somebody. Uh, so then you're not sealed with the Holy Spirit. Then it doesn't make any sense. I, I, again, they, they contradict themselves all the time. So you're sealed with the Holy Spirit, but then the Holy Spirit can leave you, it will depart from you apparently, right? On to, the, on to the next clip. Yeah, you, I know what your video was about. It was written to Christians. Uh, uh, yeah, and it is written to Christians. Nobody, nobody disputes that. Uh, but it's Romans chapter 9, chapter 10, chapter 11 are written about Israel, not about Christians. It's written about Israel. So I've written in my notes that he says that Romans 10 is written to Christians, but is about Israel. So that somehow means that Romans 10 is not for our salvation. You know, that's what I have in my notes. Because what he's saying is that Romans chapter 10 is written to Christians, but it's about Israel. So therefore, it's not for a Christian salvation. Huh? Um, that literally makes no sense. Uh, why would Paul write to Christians about the Jews, but then not say, and again, I did my video on, on Fenninger's hyper dispensationalism. What Paul said in Romans chapter 4, verse, or in Romans, Romans 10, verse 4 to 6, is no different than what Paul said in Ephesians 2 8 9, Galatians 3 24 26, Galatians 3 7 to 9, all these other verses. What he said was no different. So if Romans 10 is a false gospel for us today, how does that work? And, and King's Table, he just couldn't answer that. I mean, he wasn't able to answer that. He just says that, oh, Romans 10 is written to, is written to Christians, but it's about Israel, so therefore that means that that is not for our salvation. Okay, that's just, okay, that's weird. Uh, on to the next clip. Yes, I'm saying that uh, King Saul was saved when the, when the Spirit of the Lord departed from him. Definitely, he, st he was still saved. It's just the Spirit wasn't acting the same way as it is today. That's the difference. He was still saved, but he wasn't acting the same way. 
So again, he says that the uh, Holy Spirit was not acting the same way that it does today. And again, you know, chapter and verse on that. Where is that in scripture? He doesn't give any. On to the next clip. So it was um, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and all, well, all basically all 12 disciples. Uh, were they not saved until Christ poured out the Spirit? Or were they saved? So he basically asked, okay, were the apostles saved a different way? Implying that they were saved by faith alone back in the Old Testament. Because Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are still doctrinally under the Old Testament. Because Jesus had not died on the cross yet. So he's implying, essentially, that they were still saved by faith alone back in the Old Testament. And I've written in my notes here, when Christ was walking on the earth, they were still doctrinally under the Old Testament. Which is, which is true. And... Again, if they're saved by faith alone, how do you answer Matthew 10, 33, where Jesus says, I've written in my notes, where Jesus says, if you deny him before men, he'll deny you before his Father in heaven. So they're saved by faith alone and eternally secure. Uh, when he denies you before his Father in heaven, you're not saved. You've lost your salvation. And then they'll say, oh, it's talking about physical salvation. Really? Denying you before his Father in heaven is talking about physical salvation? Sure. And also, how do you explain Matthew chapter 19, verse 16 to 17? Where I've written in my notes, someone asked Jesus what he ha what he has to do to have eternal life. Read the verse. He, he clearly says, "What must I, you know? What do I have to do is that, that I may have eternal life?" And Jesus literally tells him to keep the commandments. I mean, that doesn't sound like faith alone to me. And again, they'll say, "I was talking about physical salvation." Again, chapter and verse on physical salvation. The thing, physical salvation, is a term that they made up the, the, out of thin air to explain away these verses that clearly teach faith plus works in the Old Testament. So this is my response to King's Table. I'm not going to do much more stuff on these Ed Fenier cultists because they just have no life. All they do is just listen to little things you say wrong, just every little thing that you say, and they're coming out with these little, little, these little videos. These videos about every little thing that you say, just they'll hang on every single word, every single little thing you say, they'll just hang on that. So this is my response to King's Table. God bless you. Goodbye.